Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. There are a few places left in Topeka that I would like you to see, so let's go. Welcome back to Topeka. We're starting this video with a place where you can get the best chocolate in town. This is Hazel Hill. They use only the finest ingredients to produce handmade treats that will blow your mind. They're made the old-fashioned way, in small batches, by hand. I got their chocolate-covered strawberries and almond clusters. Both were phenomenal. They also sell things like chocolate-covered apples, barks, craft chocolate bars, and even keto-friendly chocolate. I was also able to try their homemade fudge, and it was so creamy and rich. If you're chocoholic, this is the place to go. Next up is G's Frozen Custard, a locally-owned business serving the best frozen custard since 1991. They are well known for their famous brown bread frozen custard. 10 to 15 unique flavors are offered daily. They won the Best of Topeka Award in the frozen custard category in 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. My favorite is the Maui Waui with vanilla custard, pineapple, bananas, coconut, whipped cream, and a cherry on top. Our third spot is located in southwest Topeka and has been serving cheeseburgers, onion rings, shakes, and more since 1948. Welcome to Bobo's Drive-In. This nostalgic diner was featured on Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives Season 3. The charm and history of this place makes it worth visiting. I have never really been to a diner, but it was such a fun experience and their comfort food was extremely delicious. I ordered a double cheeseburger, onion rings and cherry shake. The beef patty was perfectly grilled, but the onion rings were my favorite. So crunchy and slightly sweet, just perfect. For dessert, we shared their famous apple pie. The filling was very unique and the crust super flaky. No wonder people love it that much. My last and final spot is a Japanese restaurant called Yuki. Yuki means snow, but that's not what they're serving. It is a teppanyaki place where they cook the food right in front of you. You can order all kinds of meat and seafood. Every dinner comes with a miso soup, a salad with ginger dressing, fried rice, and vegetables. We shared a table with a couple that ordered their steak and crab meat combo. It looked pretty good, but we went with a seafood trio, shrimps, scallops, and salmon. All of their sauces are made from scratch. Oh, and by the way, they also have an amazing sushi menu. I am a huge fan of seeing how the food is prepared. It is always a fun experience, and you get to see all of the ingredients they're using. I was pretty full, but the food was just excellent. If you've liked this video, please smash a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!